So we are discussing free tools and why free tools work so well. So free tools, A, increase engagement. This is because they're interactive. They bring the user into account and they SEO optimized. Second thing is if you create well-constructed free tools, you get a lot of backlinks. If you have a really good schema generator, if you have a really good content generator, etc., uh, people that will create articles around these, you know, top five free schema generators, they will link to you. So make your tool good. Uh, and the third one is targeted keywords. SEO optimized for free tools and because of the interactivity and, and the fact that they're actually something that's useful, Google ranks these really highly. So if you SEO optimize the keywords properly, this is also great, um, especially long tail keywords, which you can pull from search console or just by understanding your keywords. If you're not sure how to uh, find your keywords, I suggest just going on scale so you can find the top performing keywords in under one minute. Super great way to get a whole bunch of information about your website's current SEO stats. Um, so let's look at Pally. So Pally is a social media scheduling tool. They really leverage free tools super well. So if we look, this is in their footer with the list of all their free tools. If we look at what sort of free tools they offer, um, it's image caption generator, caption generator, Twitter generator, etc. Pally is a social media scheduling tool. So you can see that people coming on here, they might use a tweet generator the image caption generator, et cetera. They, on social media, they're in that niche. Um, so they can easily go from using these free tools to then continue to the paid version of Pally. Especially if the free tools are good, then it's showing, okay, if this is the effort we put into our free tools, then we can provide even more value if you pay. Um, so it's a great way to also bring in high intent users. So now let's look at Pally's results. You can see they're absolutely crushing it. I mean, they just, whoop. and the founder, Tim, speaks a lot about this. He's really great to follow about how he leveraged free tools. I mean, you can imagine what the one or 2% conversion rate on these free tools is super evergreen. Um, so yeah, it's, if you want to start leveraging free tools yourself, and this is a funny graphic we made, um, because we always say, use your data. And what I mean by this is on tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, you're using the same data as everyone else. Everyone's got access to the same CSV files, etc. So when you go into Search Console, and this is a push we make in Skillsly, um, to be able to use Google Search Console, where we can aggregate all the data you're winning for. Uh, if Google's sending you data, just optimize for it. For example, if we're ranking for a query, uh, FAQ schema or FAQ or just schema, then Ideally, that should be the tool we want to build out is a schema generator. It's in our niche. It makes sense. We've already got the traffic from there. Now we're just going to double down and optimize it in a different way. Uh, that's not like a home page, a main page, a money page, a blog page, etc. And that's why content generators work so well, especially because you can build out multiple around them. We can then go FAQ schema, breadcrumb uh, schema generator, etc. So if you understand your niche, it also becomes a lot easier to create these free tools. If you're a bit lost by what I just said there, don't worry about that. Um, Scaleseek is making a push for the Google Search Console keywords so we can optimize all this data for you and tell you what sort of free tools would work and all that sort of cool stuff. Um, for now, Google Search Console or just finding your keywords. Google Search Console is the best if you know how to use regex queries. If not, just go on Scaleseek and plug it in. But um, also just by understanding your niche, you'll get idea of what sort of keywords you want to be building, uh, what sort of free tools you want to be building up. And once you understand the concept of free tools to rank, uh, bring in high intent users and actually convert them, look at a lot of SaaS companies you use that have a strong SEO presence. And I think you'll notice that most of them actually have free tools and they do really well from them. 